they broke it. The fan leaves the correct way up the escalator with a reprimand. In London, fast response driver Bob G is en route to Covent Garden Tube. Get out of the way, you idiots! Yes, yes, overseas, thank you. Two suspected pickpockets have been apprehended by community support officers. Hey, I'm right. How you doing? All right. What have we got? A couple of Romanians. Yeah. Um, yeah, could have guessed. No. Uh, what what, what have you stopped them for? They've been dipping, have they? Yeah, apparently they've been in the Disney store just down in Covent Garden. Right. OK, I think what we'll do is we'll take them round the back into a, a private room and we'll search them in there. OK? Yep. The pair were first spotted by a security guard in the Disney store when one allegedly put their hand inside a customer's rucksack. Right, do any of you speak English? A little bit. A little bit. Okay. I'm PC. Listen to what I say. Okay. I'm PCG of the British Transport Police. Okay. And I'm going to be searching you. Okay. The reason I'm going to be searching you is because we've got information that you might have been stealing from one of the shops around the corner. Now listen to what I'm going to say, and then you can tell me after. First of all, I'll search this, this young lad first. Okay. What's your name? Okay. Do you want to empty your pockets out on the table? Show me what you've got in your pockets. Where are you from? Bosnia. No, no, look. This, that ticket don't get you from Bosnia. Upton Park. <laughs> Upton Park. Oh, right, OK. OK, have you got anything in these pockets? Did you know what your initial would be? OK, What's your just turn around. 10, 1, 95. Dead of birth. OK, pull that back in your pocket. Bob finds nothing from his search but still wants their details. Excuse me, this is my data book. How old are you? Eight. You're eight? Yes. You're big for eight years old. Bob knows children under the age of ten cannot be charged. I think what we do is we'll search her first. Why are you arresting me? Because I've just explained to you, if you don't give a police officer when asked, your detail is an offence under Section 25 of PACE, Police and Criminal Evidence Act. OK? You're telling me that you're eight years old. I don't believe that you're eight years old. Yeah. He's not even eight. How old are you? Seven. Seven? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Is it warm in here? Bob doesn't find anything on the girl either. Sorry, they've got no, nothing on them to suggest that they've been thieving. At the moment, you've committed no offences, OK? I don't believe you ate for one second. So it's for your benefit, so I can do a check on the radio, that you give me a correct date of birth. What's, what's this? No, this is uh, 10-195-8. <laughs> 9 on the 1st of January. Basically, even more like you've seen them before, it's always based in this area, Covent Garden. Yeah. So you said they're so, wanted the, the, the problem I've got, so, so what's your no name? Details. My name is Gloria. Look, Gloria. So the problem I've got, Gloria, is, is at the moment all we've got is hearsay evidence. Yeah, it is, it is, we've got nothing yeah, substantial. Yeah. We've searched them. We've got no stolen property on them. And uh, well, we can't really arrest on a lot of and ifs or buts. Mm. This time, do not be arrested, OK? We're watching you very, very closely. What I suggest you do is go home now, OK? Next time, I will arrest you. Bob's been with the British Transport Police for 10 years. He knows the limits of the law. Found no stolen property on him, so we've got to let him go, unfortunately. That's, that's the law. The law is an ass, as I say. The girl has been stopped for pickpocketing on more than 500 occasions. The age she gives means she's still too young to be arrested. In London, the British Transport Police are using sniffer dogs in an anti-drug operation at Tottenham Court Road tube station. Katie wants trainee Dan to see how it works. Yeah, sure. He's there. Daniel. <laughs> this gentleman is actually a handler for a passive dog. So we'll tell you how it works. Basically, we use Labradors, but they're, they're passive dogs. They don't search people, they scan the air around people. So as people walk past, they can the air movement, they can detect amphetamine, cocaine, heroin. Already in those I've had some of them got 20 wraps of coke on them, another person had 20, eight, wraps. 20 wraps, another one's got eight wraps on them. Right, the dog's indicated to that man. You're too late. See, watch the dog. Now watch. Go on, Dan, get in there. What's going on me, please? Keep your hands where you can see him. Okay. It's not this passenger's lucky day. 
The man turns out to be German. Dan takes him into custody to be thoroughly searched. All the man's distinguishing marks need to be recorded. In his case, it's more than routine. He is absolutely covered in tattoos. <laughs> so it's, I think, did he say he was a tattoo artist? Yeah, so he's got going, all, all Danny's legs and everything. So it's going to take us about a week to fill in the, the bit on tattoos. <laughs> You're going to have to do it. <laughs> to get a caution, what do you have to do? Be naughty. No. What does the suspect have to do? Admit whatever he's been charged yeah. with. But not charged. Well, uh, being put, being arrested, for. arrested for. The, he has to admit the alleged offence. Now Dan has to do his first ever taped interview. Okay. Can you just confirm to me that this was taken from you during a search? Uh, yes, you found this, your dog found this. Is it possible for you to tell me what this substance actually is? Um, it's supposed to be cannabis. At least uh, this guy in Camden Town on the street told me for £10 you will get this. So I believe him. The man is cautioned for possession of cannabis and released. At Birmingham New Street, there's a major alert. A young man has climbed onto a railway bridge support and is threatening to jump onto the 25,000 volt overhead power lines below. He was first spotted by Jeff. I was in the station. And I went to use a telephone and I so happened to look out the window and saw him on the roof and that was it. So everything else just goes from there. Luckily, other officers looked when I called it up, looked round and they saw him as well. So we've got officers out there with him trying to talk him off. There are officers also on the street with the crowd control because we're getting quite a sizable crowd. If you imagine, that's just the bull ring over there. Right, which has just opened. So there's thousands of people up there and some of them were trying to urge him to jump off. So uh, that's not good. The police have asked engineers to turn the power off and isolate a short section of track in case the man decides to jump. I'm not sure whether they've shut down the power yet. We haven't been told they've shut down power. But the what we're doing is we're, we're clearing the north end of the platforms the so that um, this person hasn't got an audience to play to. And the, uh, the train station management have decided that they want everybody off the platforms completely. Uh, and so they're taking them away. The jumper is causing chaos to the network. Dozens of trains are being diverted. Within about 20, 25 minutes, they'll be trains back as far as London because of this chap on the roof. Yes, that's so, <laughs> it's, it's pretty serious. <laughs> All we can do now is wait. Is the 1433 and hope. Meanwhile, in Camden Town, London, Bob G has been called by tube staff to evict Vince, a well-known vagrant. Hi, Vince. How are you, mate? Hi, Bob, yeah. But it's not Vince who causes Bob problems. Hey, what hey. What the fuck are you talking hey. about? Go away. I mean, go, don't you dare come up to me and start swearing, OK? Oh, yeah. Uh, was I swearing? Yes, you was. All right. I'm warning you now. If you use that type of language in front of me again, I'll arrest you. Section 5, public order. I Do you understand? Didn't, I didn't... Go away, please. Go away, please. If I ask you nicely, go away. Yes, you go English away. Uh, police people. Good. Okay. But the man in the red T-shirt just won't take Bob's advice. Reason why we've been called here he again. seems set on provoking uh, trouble. On the steps. Don't want to <laughs> Did I do any... You're under arrest, mate. You're under arrest. Okay. Bob's colleague, Matt Popple, does the necessary. He's been arrested, mate. OK, just keep it like that and it won't hurt so much. Do I look like a criminal no, Just sit in the car, please. I am a criminal for you. Come on, sit down. Watch your head. Uh, mass murderer, really mass murderer. Just Are you French, are you? Yeah. All right, let me explain something. What's your name? What's your first name? Rudy. Rudy? Well, Rudy, let me explain to you something. You can't come up to police officers in the street and start swearing at them. It's against... Swear, it's an offence, mate. I didn't mean that. Yeah, but we warned you not to. And then you, can, you continue to do it, didn't you? I didn't mean How much do you have to drink today? Uh, a couple of vodka. A couple of vodka? Yeah. My mum was a police officer. Oh, was she? Yes. Did your mum used to give you a clip round the ear when you used to swear at her? Yes. Yeah, well, yes. unfortunately, we can't do that in this country. Uh, and well, the only powers we got is powers of arrest. Too bad for me. What are you doing up here, then? I'm just passing by. <laughs> Where's that? 
in the wrong place at the wrong time, would you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the story of my life. In Birmingham, the jumper has been on the bridge parapet for nearly an hour. Thousands of passengers are experiencing serious delays. What they're waiting for is a, a train negotiator to come along and have a chat with him and maybe can uh, talk, actually talk him down off the roof and this whole thing can be resolved and, uh, and the trains can get back underway, hopefully. So next time when they do a, what, a 15% hike in the cost of a ticket, show that person on television and say that it's his fault. This is why your fares have gone up. In London, Rudy has been taken into custody and Bob and Matt have been doing some detective work. Rudy, wake up, mate. Rudy. They've discovered Rudy is a wanted man. Can you listen to me a minute? Do you want to sit up, mate? He was on early release from a one-year prison sentence on condition he wore an electronic tag. Sit, sit him up, Matt. But Rudy has removed the tag and gone walkabout. Because yeah, I've got something to say to you. Be recalled back to prison. Okay, it's nothing to do with the police, it's to do with the prison. Okay, okay. Okay. Bye-bye, thank you very much. Uh, Draw a cup of tea or something. Oh, mate. The next morning, Rudy was returned to prison. Bless him. Let's go get him a cup of coffee. En route to Oxford Circus Tube, police trainer Katie spots two well-known pickpockets. One is the same girl who has been stopped for questioning on more than 500 occasions. What are you two up to? I've just driven past you in a car, and I've seen you with this open, and you going up behind one of the ladies with this. Okay, you just want to take your bag off for us? Just, to, just to take your bag no, and come just leave it there for you. No, you're not under arrest yeah. at the moment. Dan finds an expensive new digital camera. How long have you had this? Is it? Okay. Very good, isn't it? Have you got any bail conditions? No, no. Were you in court last week? Are you allowed to be in Oxford Street? No. Whenever they are stopped, the girls say they are underage. No, I'm eight. I'm eight. The court actually has agreed she is eight. Right, OK. How old are you? Fourteen. Why four? You're 14. You want to try a bit of oil of you, like? Although the girls are underage, Katie has found a way to remove them from Oxford Street, for today at least. Children, young persons, after she's eight years old, you can't leave her in London alone. Okay. Arrest, arrest them both. Do you have a warrant out for your arrest? No. You do, OK? And you will be taken as well. You're going under Children and Young Persons Act. You ain't going home to be getting an adult to come and get you. If you're wanted on warrant for attempt theft, 24 to the 5th of this year, her warrant is not backed for bail. What does that mean? Do you know what it means when it's not backed? It means she won't be released tonight. All right. We're on our way. Thanks, bye. The girl, who has been picked up on more than 500 occasions and claims she is eight, was collected by her mother from the police station. The case against the girl who insists she is 14 was later dropped. In Birmingham, the train delays are costing network rail thousands of pounds an hour in penalties, as they have to pay for any delays caused by the man climbing onto the parapet. Jeff does his sums. It's now been there two hours, and Brian was telling me that it costs about £3,000 for five minutes in delays on trains. Yes? The train? Ouch. So that is now a um, probably a 10% increase in the fares for next year. After two and a half hours, there's a breakthrough. The negotiator has managed to uh, persuade him to come on the other side, uh, off the roof of the building. He's now been taken into custody. Really? Yes, in a way. In fact, yes, definitely. It's somebody's son, isn't it? Probably someone's husband, probably someone's dad. So it's good. Good ending. The man, a 21-year-old Iraqi, was later cautioned for obstructing the railway. He'd been upset about breaking up with his girlfriend. 
The incident cost Network Rail tens of thousands of pounds and caused major disruption, with 85 trains delayed and two cancelled.